Good morning, cultists! In our last episode, we began our journey down the sunken valley and didn't get very far because I'm slow and also like to backtrack a lot. In any case, I'm hoping that we can actually make some progress today. Though, um, easier said than done, right? Is there a dude there? Okay, maybe there's a dude there. Maybe we need to kill Dude Man McCool over here, stealthily. Though, he kind of appears to be looking in this direction, so I don't know if that's entirely possible. Maybe if I get down on this tree without attracting his attention, is he going to see me? Uh, if I jump, okay. Uh-oh, his interest in me is starting to, uh, no! Shit. Yep. He's uh, definitely noticed me. And now he... Well, actually, I don't know if he's noticed me or not. Sir, do you know that I'm here? <laughs> oh no! You son of a bitch! You can't do that! That's not fair! What the hell? Ah, oh, shit nuggets. Alright. Just go for it. Fantastic. Ah, dang it. My perfect health. Tis been ruined. Ruined, I tell you. Alright, well, hopefully. Ah, uh, okay, good. He seems to, um, patrol at least. The other one did not patrol at all, which was a big, uh, big no-no. Thank you. Though, I wonder... Hmm. I'm wondering if I should... Whoa. Another one. I'm wondering if I should make use of the uh, puppeteer stuff a bit more. Alright, so... Oh! There's another one over here as well. So I'm thinking if that guy turns around, then maybe we'll try to go... Sneak kill this guy. Thank you. Uh, is there a way to... Uh -huh. Oh! Nope! Okay, well, he seems to have noticed me, which is a big shame. Either that, or maybe he just kind of panicked and started attacking and swinging wildly, which is, of course, um, what sometimes people are prone to do. I know that happens to me, which, of course, leads to a lot of awkward social situations whereupon I have to kill someone because I accidentally, you know, um, got startled and then viciously started attacking them, and they, of course, started defending themselves, etc., etc. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Sir? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. See? What did I say? Awkward social situations. <laughs> Happens all the time for me. Alright, is there anyone else here that we need to be aware of? Doesn't appear to be so. Mmm. Okay. Seems like maybe this place is empty. Yellow gunpowder, thank you. Uh, oh, right. Yellow gunpowder, gunpowder versus black gunpowder. I did wonder why it was uh, specified as being black gunpowder as opposed to... Hey, Gord Seed! Fantastic! But I probably won't do that right now. No, probably not. Is that it? I mean, not to diminish my uh, awesome finding of the Gord Seed, but... Is that it? What the hell is even this even for? Good grief. Can I go up that, that way? Oh, no, that's where I came from. Yeah, yeah. That's when we encountered uh, Dude Man McCool, who decided that uh, killing me was the fastest way into my heart. Fair enough. Fair enough. Aw, uh, look at you. <laughs> Hanging precariously. Oh, oh, oh. Is, there he goes. Come on. Come on, boo-boo. You can do it, boo-boo. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Fall off! Can I maybe... What is this, um... What is this mortal blow thing, by the way? Whoa! Holy shit! That is cool! Hot damn, but I just wasted like six uh, fucking spirit emblems. My goodness. Ceramic shard. And I should probably... Keep a lookout in case there are more gun dudes in front of me. Did I just uh, see something green? Ah, lizard. Yes. I'm sorry, lizard. Forgive me. Fantastic. But thanks to the lizard, I am now full up on health. So that's nice. Gotta say that um, latent skill of getting life every time I get a death blow is quite fantastic. 
Uh-huh. There appears to be yet another dude over there. And he seems to kind of come close to this area, so maybe we can get the jump on him. Otherwise, are there more dudes around there? I can't tell. They're all kind of wearing, like, pale clothes or whatever. And they're, um, being obfuscated by the damn trees and shit. So I came from that way, right? Right, right. Is he coming back? Can I maybe entice him with a song or maybe a little sexy dance? Shake my booty a little bit? Have my voice crack as I say, booty? Hey, mister. You want to come check out my booty? It's the finest in all the eastern lands. I swear, people just line up to see my booty. And I can see some kind of blue glow. And I'm wondering if now it's maybe like a little safe spot. There you are, good sir. There. What? Alright. Oh shit. You think he noticed me? Okay. Okay, sir. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh fuck. Some dude's got like some shoulder shotgun nonsense. What the fuck was that? What? Hey, how exactly did he hit me like that? That makes no sense. Cheater. Alright, sir. Whoa! Home slice. None of that shit, bitch. Okay, for a second I thought he maybe he was a mini boss or something, but thankfully, tis not. Um He hits like a fucking truck though. Nice. Okay. Fantastic. Oh. Ah oh, yes, there's a safe spot here. Sir? even more formidable than we'd heard. We were reckless to go in unprepared. It takes me back. I can hear the Senpo temple bell. Wow, really a lot of mouth movement for... Okay, so if I rest here... How exactly, what the fuck is this place? Alright, so let's take a brief gander at, uh, what we're dealing with here. So, where is my, I should have gone the other way. Nightshine monocular. So I guess we fly down there onto that very greasy looking tree. And from there, we maybe go to that tree that looks less greasy. And then from there, that looks like an anchor point. Um, that one looks a little different from the other gun dudes that we faced so far. And there's a thing that we might be able to collect over down there. Uh, can I get on top of the giant Buddha head? Is there a path over there or do I have to like jump from there to over there somehow and then across the bridge? I'm assuming that maybe there's a path that wraps around. Right, right. And then, there's a dude over there, right? Dude over there, dude over there. Oh my god. Well, hopefully we should be able to um, stealth our way across a little bit. But, uh, I guess we'll see. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get resting. Thank you very much. Actually, um, maybe it might not be a bad idea to... Perhaps, yeah, let's go back to Kuro's room, and then we can get the gourd seed uh, handed in. Yeah, and then I can get another, get a little gourd juice going, you know. Do I have any more alcohol to give to Emma? I don't think so. I'm glad you've come. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes. I wonder if I can uh, eavesdrop on this guy again. I see you've got keep up the Great, thanks. You're leaving Wolf. My lord. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. I wonder if it's possible, cause we were able to eavesdrop on him before. Maybe not this time. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if that uh Ashina guy or Ishin guy is still around too. Cause uh we did get the mortal blade, and I completely forgot to see if perhaps 
he might be worth talking to now that I've got that thing. I can maybe show it off to him. He's like, hey, you ever seen this? You ever touch another man's sword? You ever touch another man's mortal blade, as it were? Yeah, it's good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. Bet you ain't never touched a mortal blade like this. That's right, buddy. All right, so let's go back to him. And maybe he's got some new topics of converse. Please control your nightjar dudes downstairs. They are just freaking out. Check it out. Is that the mortal blade? So what of the rulers? According to the divine child of the inner sanctum, anyone who draws the mortal blade will meet death. Which means only one such as you can wield it then. When I drew up the blade and saw its crimson edge, I too died once. I see. The crimson edge. Listen, Sekiro. With the mortal blade, you can now kill the undying. A truly terrifying weapon. Don't you think? What are you trying to say? That sword is now yours. Who or what will you kill? You must be sure of the answer before drawing it. Um... Great, thanks. The mortal blade. A weapon, you must be... Right. Anything else you want to tell me, good sir? Or are we just bugger... What? A crimson mortal blade. That means the one that he has must be black then. To abandon oneself in search of strength. How tragic. Hmm. So wait, there's another mortal blade maybe? Who is he that he's talking about? Genichiro maybe? Hmm. But... Huh, interesting. Interesting, because the way that he described the whole um, losing oneself in search for uh, power or whatever kind of made it sound like he was Genichiro that he was talking about, but I could be wrong. Alright, well then let's bugger off back to... Was it the Sunken Valley? Yes, it is indeed El Sunken Valio. Good grief. Alright, let's do this. Now, is there a difference between jumping from over here versus over there? I'm assuming not, though I don't know if I saw the uh, circle from over that side, so... Whoa! What? Wait! What? Wait. No! They didn't see me from over there, did they? Oh my god! I think they did! Holy shit! Okay, okay, um... Interesting! I guess maybe new strategy? Be better at stealth? <laughs> Is that even possible? Good grief, okay, maybe once... We've lost the attention of the entire universe, including Azathoth himself... Then we'll progress. Sir? Fantastic. Okay. Wait, this guy's a mini-boss? Ah, oh, shit. Sir, I'm gonna need you to just calm down. Oh, fuck. Nice little dodge there. Fantastic. And... Whoa! Okay. Little, uh... Close-range gun action. Oh, fuck. Walked right into that one. And... Nice. Didn't actually need to do that, but... Oh, shit. Okay, good. Didn't actually kill me. Though that one could have. Can you stop shooting at me, please? Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. What happened to my request of not shooting at me, sir? Okay. Fantastic, come on. Might be able to get the first health knocked off. Fantastic. Alright. You know what? Let's start off with a mortal blade. Okay. Oh. Sweet mother, my posture is not doing so well right now. Oh. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, might want to heal up a little bit. I just realized how uh, low my health is right now. Okay. Shit. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, shiatsu massage. Alright, you know what? Got him on the ropes, though. Okay. Nice. Okay. Come on. Almost there. 
Oh, fantastic. Holy crap, holy. Yes, anal bead. Joyous day. Joyous day. Woo. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm shaken. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was clutch. That was clutch. Can I go here without being seen? Oh, crap. Uh, I wonder if maybe taking the Gaichin sugar might help here. Because it's supposed to help out with stealth stuff, yeah? Let's give it a try. See if it actually makes a difference. Oh! So am I completely invisible? I wonder. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Great. And... Oh, shit. Forgot to loot that guy. Sorry. Here, let me suck you up. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Come on. There you go. Whew. Man, that was a clutch fight. I'm glad I got those, uh... You know, resurrection points and all that such. And... Oh, wait, what? Even with Gaichin Sugar? Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta book it. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, fuck nuts. Come on. Come on. Okay. Down there. And up Grandmother's house we go. Am I safe here? I guess safe is a bit of a relative term, isn't it? Um... So there's one guy up there, and I can't move my camera farther down to see up, which is a bit of a shame, I gotta say. Okay. So from here, let's just wait until we lose the last little bit of attention. I think we're good. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, there appears to be maybe... Aha! Uh -huh. Fantastic. Alright, is that guy gonna notice me though? Nope, doesn't appear to be. Woo! Oh shit, nope! I tell a lie, turns out that he is in fact very capable of noticing me. He's also very capable of dying, it seems. Let's grab Magnetite. Thank you. And I guess I have to jump over that to that tree, yeah? Or maybe I don't need to need to? Uh huh. Okay, maybe we can get the sneak up on this guy too. Knock on wood. We'll try to do the old uh, ledge kill, of course. Thank you. And who the fuck is noticing me? All right, there's a guy up there. There's a guy up there. Are there any more dudes that we should be aware of? Perhaps. Fantastic. All right, sir. You must die. Sweet. Okay. Whew, I think we're... Doing all... What? 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 No! Oh, shit! Oh, no. I think I've alerted the entire uh, universe again. Fuck. Oh, I see. So it's these little things that have the... Oh. Oh, good grief. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna bugger off now. Thanks. Thanks. So long and thanks for all the fish. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we can get the jump on that guy. Because we kind of know that uh, layout a little bit, right? Though, I don't know if there's another dude. Um, If only I could have the power of Icarus at this moment. Or Senu. That would be absolutely fantastic. Because then I can just, you know, see exactly what they're uh, looking at and whatnot. Is he just going to stay there? I see a little bit of his uh, gun sticking out. And there's that guy up there. Who I was actually trying to go for. Mm, doesn't seem like he's about to move. Seems like he's maybe decided to um, set up shop there and live the rest of his uh, miserable life. I'm assuming he's got a miserable life. I mean, kind of looks like he's wallowing in misery. But, as long as he doesn't turn towards me, we should be able to take him out. Thank you! And then there's that guy up there that I was trying to go for initially. Aha! Yes. Yes, my good man. Yes! 
Fantastic. Let's grab Magnetite. Thank you. Anything else? Maybe I can swing on over from here to... Oh! To then earn his attention. Fantastic. Can I lose his attention again? Because I'd really like to be, you know, not inundated with a uh, gunfire and whatnot. Not, not to imply that you're doing a bad job or anything. You know, you're doing an absolutely bang-on job as a sentry, I gotta say. Actually, um, probably one of the better sentries that we've experienced in any uh, video game so far. Fantastic, though. Again, the peripheral vision thing is a little, little bit of an issue with these guys. Uh-oh, there's another big boy in there. Is there an easier way for me to maybe assassinate him? Hmm... Snapseed, thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I think maybe... Let's... Nope, not exactly what I intended at all, as a matter of fact. I was kind of hoping that I could get the jump on the uh, one of them at the very least. But I failed miserably on both counts, as it turns out, which... Let's face it, isn't much of a surprise. Um, sir? You're damaging government property. Wait. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. But sure. Can I... Get the sneak on this guy? Yep. Fantastic. And then we'll, uh, bugger right back off on out of here. Holy crap, holy. And I'm assuming he can't see me from uh, down there, right? I mean, he should be able to, but he can't. Maybe it's all the bandages across his eyes or whatever. It's a cool look, don't get me wrong. I mean, I definitely dig the mummy look for sure. Um, but at the same time, it it does kind of hinder your vision and movement, I would imagine. Alright, there you go. Turn your attention elsewhere, my friend. To death you go! Shit, who's noticed me? What the... Is that a bandaged up nun? Yep. That definitely appears to be the bandaged up version of the uh, nuns that we saw before. Heavy coin purse, yellow gunpowder, and pellets. Thank you, and um, hand cannons and whatnot. I don't know if I fully explored the outside yet, though. Uh, yeah. Take that. I just wanted to see if maybe there are more dudes that we can attract the attentions of. And anything up over here? I think I saw some kind of item here. Unless I'm mistaken. Which is very possible. Um... No, no. Aha! Ungo sugar. Which I've never used so far. Probably my fault, I would imagine. Alright, let's um... What's the point of that uh, grab spot? I guess maybe if you're falling down? Or maybe if you're taking a different route. Ah, I see. I wonder if he could have jumped over from that side and then just gotten here that way. Hmm, into the back route. The old back door access via butt sex. Fantastic. Okay, please tell me that there's a safe spot nearby. Because this is terrifying that um, I've made it this far. And haven't seen a safe, another safe spot since. Oh, safe spot! Ah, oh, joyous state. There's no trap here, is there? Okay. Admiral Akbar, does anyone smell a uh, squid or octopus? It's got like a really salty kind of smell, you know, like it's like if you've shoved the entire ocean up your nose is basically what a squid or octopus smells like, or at least a raw one. Okay, I think we're all right though. Fantastic. Um, do I need to travel back for any reason? I don't think so, right? Maybe you can get some skills? Mmm, that's questionable. Shinobi eyes, which increases my posture damage um, afflicted by the Mikiri counter. Projected force. So that allows me to what? Um, draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it in a forward direction. Interesting. Or we could get the Nightjar Slash Reversal. 
Mm, flowing water. Which reduces the amount of posture damage done by uh, enemies with swords. Hmm. Or we can start making our way in uh, this stuff. Which could be useful, depending on what we actually get from all that uh, stuff. Alright, um... It would be nice to get one of these ultimate things. I think the cheapest one is the prosthetic art. Living Force. So we would need to get Nightjar Slash Reversal and also Projected Force. Alright. But to do that, I need to get Midair Prosthetic Tool. Man, there's a lot of steps. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get Midair Prosthetic Tool. Thank you. And then that way we can get Projected Force next and also Nightjar Slash Reversal. So in essence, I need eight more levels in order to get uh, Living Force. Which, uh, as it turns out, might be more expensive than I originally thought. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. It's unfortunate, but it's fine. Wait, what the hell's the point of that? I mean, besides looking cool and shit. So... Is there something else from down there? Oh, look at that! Hmm... It doesn't seem like there's any way for me to get there, though, so... Huh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's take some precautions as we go through this area here. Oh, wait. Shit, did I not rest? Oh, my God. I don't think I rested. Okay. Oh, there we go. No wonder. I was like, wait. Where's my other, um... Revive, uh... A dot. But more importantly, my healing gourd stuff. I hear something. Oh no, what the hell? Come on, man, really? Ah, oh, shit. Why can't I, uh... Can I get the sneak up on him? Oh, fuck nuts. Tell me that I can stealth this guy. The air quality has changed. Uh-oh. Maybe Gaichin Sugar? Just to make sure that it can sneak? Possibly? And then, you know what, maybe we'll take the other sugars as well. Just to make sure that we, um... Can... You know, not die. <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking too much of a precaution here, but... Oh wait! Oh fuck! Oh no! I'm assuming this guy operates the same way as the other dude that we fought previously, yeah? Okay, well... Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Long arm centipede giraffe. Okay. Alright, long arm centipede giraffe. Gotta say, I'm not really appreciating your style here. Holy shit. Fantastic. And... Nice, nice. Come on. Alright. Okay. Yeah! Holy shit. Oh my god, another uh, anal bead. Woo! Gotta say, they're not as difficult as, um... As I thought they would be. Large fan. Large fan made of dried or dyed red Japanese uh, aurelia leaves can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fang in, fanning it creates a large vortex of wind, spiriting away those it catches. Divine abduction through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice and you'll never return. If abducted, you'll head to Mount Congo. At Senpo Temple will perform virtuous deeds. Wait, what? Divine Abduction? Gun Fort Shrine Key. Oh wait, so this is the Gun Fort? Oh. Interesting. And where does this place lead to, pray tell? Pray tell mocks. Um, hopefully nowhere where I'll get my ass blasted immediately. Because I forgot to go rest up at the healing point. Or the Sculptor's Idol as it's Formerly known as. So this leads where? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I hear lizards. Hey there, lizards. How you doing? I know you're just kind of minding your own business, but, um, you know. <laughs> I do feel a little bad. Not gonna lie. Oh shit, I should have done a death blow. Come on, death blow. Ah, oh, shit, nuggets. Mmm. Another lizard over there. Take care of you. Divine confetti. Is it another one? I hear another lizard croaking. Oh, yep. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay. We'll take you two. Sweet. Woo! I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. Where does this lead? Um. Hmm. There appear to be some dudes that we can possibly kill. And also some lizardors. Hmm. This one. Thank you. Wait, what is that? Oh, are those lizards, uh, shooting shit at me? Oh, they totally are. Come on, lizards, don't be like that. You know I'm on your side. Ah, oh, shit, I think I've been poisoned, yeah? Yeah, I've been poisoned. Alright, well... That sucks. I thought you guys were on my side, lizards. Clearly, I don't know who to believe. Okay, then- Oh, shit, was that another prayer bead? Let me use the antidote powder. Thank you. Yeah, I got another prayer bead. Holy shit. Wow, so now I have four again. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Okay. Let me, um... Let's try to maybe head back if we can. Wait, is there? No. Turns out there's nothing there. I'm an idiot. I'm just backtracking at this point. Um, so let's head back. And perhaps see if... I can... Get the new Shinobi prosthetic tool fitted. And then I think we'll hopefully try to bugger off and end the episode there. I'm pretty sure there was another spot I could uh, latch onto, yeah? Most definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um. Oh, wait, I think I know where this is. This is above the area where I said, wait, what the hell's the point of that? Yep, yep. So, if I look up... Perfect. Safe spot. Fantastic. Okay. Let's rest up. And I apologize that this is taking a little bit longer. But, uh, we'll head back to... Oh, wait. Hell yes. The gun fort of Sunken Valley is commanded by the Snake Eyes. An elite force of women able to pierce distant targets with mighty flint cannons and phenomenal, phenomenal vision. Oh, so they were women. Nice. Alright, back to... Where was I going again? Oh, right, the uh, sculptor. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll, um, you know, end things after we get the new tool and see what it's all about. Alright, buddy. I'm coming in hot and heavy with a new uh, prosthetic tool. I know, I know. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in disbelief of my own progress, too. Yeah, let me get this new thing fitted. The divine, divine abduction. Prosthetic tool loaded with a large fan, costs spirit emblems to use, gather and releases a gust of wind, forcing enemies caught by the vortex to turn around. It is a mild sort of being spirited away that can be returned from quite quickly. It is a mild sort of being spirit spirited away that can be returned from quite quickly. Okay, that makes more sense now that I've read it that way. However, it's said that one can only return from being spirited away once. And if taken again, there is no coming back. So gathering vortex, use a fan of leaves to wrap yourself in whirling winds. While using gathering vortex, divine abduction releases the winds around the enemy, making them suddenly face the opposite direction. Aside from strong enemies, they will lose sight of you and be vulnerable to a death blow. Oh, so maybe that's a, ah, double divine abduction. What the hell does that do? Um, okay. Interesting, I guess. And I suppose we need to find... I think we might need to find one more prosthetic tool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
because I kind of like the sound of this. This allows me to block against spirit um, bad boys and shit. But I don't know. All right. Another well, time. let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and um, I guess we'll progress in our sunken valley area. And I might do some more shopping around in between episodes, though I don't have a lot of money, so we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!